Hugo, what a feeling. A comeback like that is just such a brilliant morale booster, just such brilliant scenes at full time. How, how good is that? Yeah, look, it was a really, really hard game. They don't lose much here and you can see why. And What a start they had as well. What a bad start we had. But, you know, um, second half, I thought we were excellent. Even when we were playing against 11 men, um, little, the little trigger from Stokesy to, to set up Jack to get us back in it, that gives you belief. I think had it gone to three, it becomes a different game because it was just making sure we didn't concede that third goal. And we didn't. Um, but yeah, listen, it's, it doesn't matter who you're playing against. When you come back from a, you know, a negative situation to win it, yeah, it's a great feeling. And it's lovely to see the fans at the end, the smiles on their faces. And that's ultimately what it's all about, isn't it? So, delighted as, for them. As starts go, falling 2-0 down in the fourth minute, it's not well, it's ideal, it is it? It was in three minutes. Oh, three minutes, yeah. Yeah, uh, listen, we just didn't deal with two long balls at all well. Um, listen, Michael Cheek is, is very hard to play against. And they obviously had Louis Dennis and, and, and Corey Whiteley running off him as well. They're good footballers and they're seasoned players at this level. But we, we didn't do well enough in the first few minutes. But as the game went on, we started to get the grips of it, I felt. And that Bromley will always pose a threat to you because they want to get the ball in your box. They've got a lot of... Uh, height and a, and a lot of strength and they score a lot of goals in those sort of areas which you know, we knew and we did some work on it yesterday which we eventually got to grips with today so uh, this ultimately I think over 90 minutes well actually it's more like 100 and, what was it, 115 minutes or something like that I, I think we deserve to win the game. And I guess if you were to put a quid on someone to score the winner, it probably wouldn't be Kobe Rowe. But that's, you know, in, in those moments when you're searching well, look, for a winner, that's who you yeah. want up there, isn't it? Well, it is, because I think we, we keep saying to the centre half, so whilst ultimately their job is to keep the ball out of our out of our net and to head balls out of our box, at the other end of the pitch, I think we all need to weigh in a little bit more. And it's something that, that we have spoken about to them a lot over time, not just Kobe, but the other centre halves as well. And it's, it's lovely to see for Kobe as well to get his first goal for the club. So, uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with him. And Jack and uh, Laurent both on the score like, score sheet, but I think Kwame coming on really changed things for us, didn't it? Well, we've got a nice blend up front. You know, we've got three strikers, as it were, four if you include Josh Stokes. But mm -hmm. the, those three lads that you just mentioned, yeah, look, they've all got different attributes, they've all got different strengths, and like they all can complement each other. I mean, Kwame's a different problem to what Laurent gives, and he's a different problem to what Jack gives. So uh, that we've got three really good strikers, and, and we know that it doesn't matter who out of them's on the pitch that they're always going to pose a threat and they certainly did tonight but Kwame's just you know Kwame he's an experienced guy he's a bloke and he knows the game and um, you know he, he, he knows how to bring the others into play and he did really well when he came on he affected the game really well and just how important is a win like that for the lads because obviously a lot has been said about our away form recently and so you know yeah, there's three but, points and a brilliant comeback. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, as I said, this is a hard place to come against a good, good team, and it is a, it's a terrific result for us. And so, um, more importantly, I'm delighted for, for the, everyone involved with the club that we've got what hour and a half journey home, and I'm sure they'll all enjoy it. So, you've got to enjoy the moments. Picking up points anywhere in this division is tough. Paul Cook, the Chesterfield manager, I, he said to us when we played them at home and I made him right. He said, they'd drawn one one at Maidenhead. When obviously everybody had thought, well, do you know what? They should have swept them apart, but it didn't. He said, any point, anywhere is a good point. And he was absolutely right. But the fact we're going home with three makes it even better.